my lives on stage as I did in Krakow when I was playing Laodamia. I completely forgot my lines. It was the longest pause in the history of the Polish theatre, perhaps world theatre. <laughs> but when I finally left the stage, I found there was nothing out there. But my whole world was theatre, theatre was my world, my life was theatre, theatre was my life. I never had a home. First, I lived with my mother, but it wasn't a real family home, there was no family. Then I lived with my men in their homes. <coughs> One for the road. <laughs> Another. <laughs> Maestro Paderewski, why don't you play? Play for me. last admirer, platonic admirer, the great virtuoso Maestro Padreschi. But what I really had were the monotonous days and nights of a provincial actress who wanted to be a star. <laughs> Forget America. Oh, I have even begun. You want to conquer the American stage. But even if you could make it, who would you perform with? A bunch of vagabonds, banished from England and Ireland, and some American amateurs. Wouldn't you be ashamed to appear with them? And who are you going to perform for? I don't know, theater critics here, their critics will treat you like a wrestler, a fire swamper, a can-can dancer from Buffalo Bill's Review. The audience will come to see you on horseback, in wagonettes, or as if to see a rodeo. After the show, they will go to drink in bars and stagger home. Carol is not a husband for you. He has no understanding of the theater. He'd be no use to you here in America. He speaks English like a cow, and he's as jealous as a crocodile. <laughs> I was certain that I would stay with Carol. I, I was certain that I love Henry. Mr. Hill wasn't interested in seeing me perform on stage. Your English, Countess, leaves a lot to be desired. I overcame disaster, I uh, became more obstinate, more determined. Once again, I started working on my English, submitting myself to the tortures of a foreign tongue. Oh, 
history. I performed for them, for him, as I used to years ago. I was again Helena Modrieska, the beloved, the adored Helena Modrieska, the greatest Polish star. I was told that you were a beginner. You are a great artist. I made it. I succeeded. I got on the American stage. I became an American actress. It happened. I triumphed. I became an American star. When I first came to Poland after the speech in Chicago, First, the police cancelled my performance in Kalk. Then, just before the opening of a new play in Warsaw, I was ordered out of the country. It's, it's terrible that Poles cannot feel safe in Poland because they are Oh, you, Monsieur Wuhan, will not enter here. There is no place for you here. In my Polish home, which stands on American soil in free America, this is I who am telling you this. I, a Polish actress, who had to speak French to the director of my own Polish theatre in Warsaw. Why? Because being Russian, he couldn't speak Polish and I couldn't speak Russian, so he had to communicate in French. But this was Warsaw, a Polish theatre. Someone is again walking by the stream. 